set ten of TFT is live, which means it's time to climb. Today, I'm going to show you five easy comps you can play every game, including headliners, augments, and positioning. Let's go. Wait, 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 real quick. I'm giving away 50 Little Legend eggs for my winnings in Gooba's speedrunning challenge, which I completed on stream. To join the giveaway, click the link in the description below and follow the super easy steps. Winners will be announced on December 7th. Shout out to Gooba for the giveaway. All right, let's go. Punk Jinx Reroll is the premier one cost reroll for this set and is super simple to play. Punk gives you a cheaper reroll once per round and gives your punk units bonus health and AD scaling with how many times you reroll this game. The stars of the show are Jinx and Pantheon. Jinx is a punk rapid fire, which gives her more attack speed the more she attacks. Pantheon is your main tank as a punk guardian, which shields him and his nearest ally for a chunk of his health. Here's the first board you're playing towards. At level 5, we want 4 punk, 2 guardian, and 2 rapid fire. I strongly prefer having headliner Jinx with punk plus 2, but rapid fire plus 2 is playable as well. Stay level 5 until you 3 star Jinx in Pantheon. If you hit Vi 3, great, but if not, don't stress about it. We play Aphelios since his ability has a stun, so 3 starring him is a waste of gold. After that, level for 2 more Guardians and Poppy for Emo and Mosher. If you hit a Punk Emblem, you can play 6 Punk with a Headliner, which is incredibly strong. For items, we need a Source of Armor Shred, either Last Wish for Jinx or even Shroud Pantheon. Next, Jinx wants Attack Speed from Rage Blade. Third can be any damage item. Pantheon can take any 3 tank items, and leftover items go to your Guardians. Vi is saving her punches for Arcane Season 2, so don't try to carry her. For augments, since Punk gives us cheaper rolls, we mostly want combat augments. Some great picks are Pumping Up, Heroic Presence, and Twin Terror. For positioning, you want Vi on the same side as Jinx, as Vi supplies Armor Shred and Stuns. Additionally, we want to position our Guardians in pairs, as Guardians shield the nearest ally, helping our frontline live a little longer. Interestingly, Vi's ability scales off her health being lower than her targets, so the best case is if she's low, and then gets a big Guardian shield. Jazz Misfortune Reroll features the Jazz trait, which increases in power the more active traits you have. MF is a Jazz Big Shot, which increases her AD whenever she casts her Double Shot. Her frontline is the Super Echo Package, consisting of Nico, Lilia, Kennen, and Echo. This gives us 4 traits, and Super Fan supplies our Headliner MF with a Death Blade. We finish our board with Kai'Sa and Bard, giving us 7 traits, where we'll roll at level 7 for MF and Nico 3. Add in any legendaries you hit at level 8, with Ziggs being amazing as he adds 2 new traits. Speaking of headliner, the best by far is plus 2 Jazz MF, as our other traits already perfectly fit together. You can play Big Shot for 4 and drop Jazz, 4 Guardian Nico, or 4 Superfan Nico, but these aren't as strong as Jazz. For items, we again want Armor Shred and Rage Blade. After that, any damage item will do. Nico will take any tank items, with the rest going to Echo. For augments, you like Jazz is absolutely busted right now, along with Bigger Shot and March of Progress helping you hits. One overlooked part about MF is that she gains attack speed when she kills a unit with her ability, so we actually want to position MF against the squishiest units rather than the opponent's main tank to get the buff faster. Our third and final reroll is Country Samira Urgot. Country summons Hecarim who will help tank and take down units. We can duo carry Samira and Urgot, whose traits Executioner and Mosher buff them both respectively. We finish our board with 5 Country, adding Vex and set for traits, and Amumu being our main tank as an emo guardian. From here, we'll roll at 7 for Samira, Urgot, and Amumu 3. This means we want Country plus 2 for our headliner, which can be anyone. Samira or Urgot headliner will help us hit faster, as they come as a 2 star. For items, we start with Samira. We want Armor Shred, and then she wants Infinity Edge to proc her passive more often. After that, she'll take any damage items, with Guard Breaker being amazing because of that added crit chance. Next, we want Tank items for Amumu, and after we finish those, we can itemize Urgot, giving him Bruiser, Damage, or Tank items. For Augments, Bounty Hunters gives us a free Samira, and March of Progress and Cruel Pact help us hit everything. In positioning, Samira goes in the backline and Urgot goes in the second row, near the center, as he attacks in a cone. Make sure your Urgot and Samira are aligned with their source of armor shred. Next up, we have Disco Dazzler, Twisted Fate. Disco Balls buff up your team, while Dazzler deals bonus damage and reduces the enemies. Our primary carry is TF, and our main tank is Blitzcrank, filling out the rest of the board with Disco and Dazzlers. Your headliner can be either TF or Blitzcrank, with any traits highlighted. For plus 2 Dazzler, we can play towards Ziggs, who is super strong, also giving us Hyper Pop 2 with Lulu. For plus 2 Disco, we cap out at 5 or 6 Disco with this board, adding any legendaries we hit. For items, give TF a mix of attack speed and damage, as he throws more cards with more AS. MR Shred is great, although Ziggs also supplies it later. Let's try and have any tank items. Play for the standard leveling curve up to 8, where we can find 4 cost headliners. For augments, the Dazzler one is pretty good, 
Shock treatment is great at getting Shiv on TF, and Little Buddies is strong in the Disco variant since we play Taric, Nami, and Gragas. For positioning, you want to have TF on the same side as your opponent's carry, since if he hits the backline with his ability, he can apply the damage debuff from Dazzler and the flat MR shred from his ability. We want to give as many of our most valuable units the Disco buff, with the frontline being less important than backline. Finally, vertical KDA rounds out our list, starring Ari, Akali, and Nico. KDA summons spotlights on the board that buff your units. Ari is a single target backline carry, while KDA Akali dashes into the furthest units, attacking the backline. We build out the rest of our board up to level 8 around KDA and the Super Echo package, capping at 7 KDA with Headliner KDA Ari or Akali. Prioritize Ari or Akali depending on the items you hit. Ari wants 1 mana item and 2 AP damage items. Akali looks for a lifesteal item and 2 AD damage items. Note that Superfan always gives Ari a death cap and Akali a hand of justice, which covers that healing requirement. Nico can take any tank items. Since we're half AP and half AD, Shred isn't needed but is always nice to have. For augments, Little Buddies is amazing here since we play 4 qualifiers. Idealism is great as we can fist both Ari and Akali. Remember your roots is also fantastic since almost all of our units are KDA. For positioning, play around whichever spotlights you receive for that game. Try to get your Ari on the same side as the opponent's carry as her ability has a brief stun. For Akali, you want her in the first or second row on the opposite side of the enemy carry so that she dashes onto them first. That's a wrap for 5 easy comps you should play to climb in set 10. Throughout the set, I'm going to keep making both broad and in-depth guides on every team comp as well as general game mechanics, so stay tuned, subscribe, and don't miss the giveaway linked below. If you'd like to learn more about the set, check out my last two guides where I go over every single trait and every unit's abilities in set 10. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you. I'm also live playing the set whenever I don't have to study for finals, usually around 8pm CST, so come check out my stream. Thanks for watching and climb on. Thank you.